His Excellency Chagulanyi Sentam Lobati Bobo when directed the President of Uganda, the People's Hope, Ate Insunga as the Dekundala area of Gulu. We now have a devil of Yamutamani, we now have a divine of Yamunonia, we now have a devasala Evi Gambo, Katikan Subdenti, Mogena Kufuna Kuktuzi Kutunweda, Hira Mogenda Kusilikako, and to Mukulembezi with Gwanga, Hamazoku Tangaza. Omukulembeze we gwanga, buliomu, hamazo kubanga, achogera, kakati mugamba chi, temu inachi mugamba, mukilizen temu inachi mugamba, ea temu cha inachi dako, cha granyi senta mloba tibobu eni, directly president of Uganda, ate insonga, hamazo kubanga, ajiteleza, hivyo neva debili mabalala, hivyo debi kola biti, hivyo debi kola biti, kansubili niti president, hivyo zebulu unji. Nungada nubaju kizantira, his excellency, mwenyini, cha granyi senta mloba tibobu. Bobo Weng, Deputy President of Uganda, Nechita Fimatha, Simpuga, and Samba. Um, um, Gambianti, we never lose until again the Komoza, Martha, Simpuga, and Samba. Namwe, Moli, Kuya, Mwe, hey, no chagrin sent a multiple born years in Mokabuka, years in Awe wada wa ntuba yugile hivi gambo Mbwela ya ganyoko gila kubisiaga Ela bichi Ela pele pele Ela nganganga Ela ululu Ela walala Kakati ya wategezi zanti ye I know mchala cha Mchala cha gwenye senta mulo bati babu waini Babi itungu cha gwenye Ela na wategezi zanti Awatumide mfune kubiyo kola Evi dara <laughs> Kala ya kasi nzo kumsa nisamuti mfune kubiyo kola Evi dara Yugambo yuba debi susi, yugambo debi isi biji di dokuba evi nji, evi li kama guwe mitwe na evi taliko magulu. Bionanga biti kiba uchagwa ni senta mu, netuwe ya nzanyo prezidenti wa fe, okujate na no ukladifying bulu nji nyo. Hmm. Kakati prezidenti wa fe omulu nji, omulu nde, his excellence directly prezidenti of Uganda, uchagwa ni senta mu. Ama zoku banga abisisa Hatika mkuma thasi mpuga nsamba Na hivi gambo abiyo gede bulunji Hona kulu alo The distinction between the racial and the past Mkuda muruganda Zombi Nya kuda muruganda Rumenefu menefu The issue asked are various. First of all, you are asking that we commit that we cannot return to the house until we have a clarity related to the person that disappeared and several other criminal violations. Then you restate that you saw the speaker saying the issue must end on that very day without further ado. One, let me show you. That, that, like the president said, that matter will never end until full accountability is given. And will not end. If you thought the speaker was closing the matter, we opened a fresh page on the matter. You probably need to ask the rank and file of the opposition to trust the team in the parliament. Because parliament matters arise every minute. And so our job as team leaders to assess the situation and take decisions. Now, when I made a rejoinder to the House, I offered clarity on several questions. And fresh pages were opened. We are now at three fronts. Remember, some of the issues we raised were taken to the Commission of Human Rights. Hence the meeting that flopped yesterday for the reasons I, I, I informed the nation yesterday via the press conference I offered in the afternoon. Secondly, the second layer of questions or issues or problems or violations were given to two committees of parliament, the Committee of Human Rights and the Committee of Internal Affairs. Those two committees will suddenly receive their terms of reference this week from the House Speaker, consulting with the opposition in parliament. Our people will be able to table there are issues, to be very clear and uh, um, sight. The issues taken to the Committee of Human Rights and the Internal Affairs relate to violation of human rights among its fishing communities. The matter we have variously raised in Parliament and nobody was moved until we moved the House to finally have that matter referred to committees. I shall ask our people to go and testify 
Portugal, or for evidence, or for violations, rape, murder, and all sorts of violations that were visited on our people in the fishing communities. That matter is still alive. The matter of missing persons is most alive. That's why you see Miss Wanga they're panicking and fidgeting and making error after error. The dead are not dead. So until evidence, until clarity is offered and their whereabouts, nobody can put away that matter. Rest assured, my brother. Then the second lady of your question related to again the um, um, the, the matter relating to money in Parliament, uh, which is the second again question my brother from Baba was asking variously. Now, note this. It is the NUP, through the Honor of Mwanga Kivumbi, our Shadow Minister of Finance, that raised a red flag on the supplementary. Get to understand that. It was our part. We offered a whole text in the form of a minority report to Parliament. That was not taken by a vote. You know, Parliament is resolved by a vote or by proclamation. So the minority was rejected, but the issues we raised to the minority, raised by the Honorable Mwanga, Honorable Oshabe, Patrick Insamba, the Honorable Namu Gagoreti, the issues is stuck. And they are the subject of the matter the President referred to as attempts to bribe members of Parliament. Not that. No member has picked money, but the money is in the supplementary. And we are raising a red flag to all and sundry that that money is illegally contained in the supplementary. Therefore, do not expect any member of parliament subscribe to the opposition to go or to get that money. If the money is in your account, our expectation is that you will return it to sender. If the money is given to you in cash, our expectation is that you reject it. That is the red flag the president has raised. Now, my brother from Baba, you, you your question was relating to my member one. Minister of Internal Affairs. Yeah, 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 the Minister of Internal Affairs issues. But I have a whole text of 23 pages that I suggest to the media relating to the to, to the rejoinder I made. There are very particular issues that debunked all submissions from internal affairs, including denial of location of the missing persons. One of the submissions I made to the House, which I read on table, is video evidence that locating every missing person, their families, their relatives, their homes, is attached, is now an asset of parliament. So denial of existence is no more. I even gave examples of uh, Mr. Damulira, who went missing. For the record of the nation and the house, Mr. Damulira was traced by the Human Rights Commission and the police and was located at CMI in 2022. That is on the record of parliament. So CMI must produce Damulira, dead or alive. So the record of parliament. There was no rebuttal from internal affairs to deny or reject my submission. So effectively, so effectively, there was admission that indeed the Human Rights Commission and the police located Damulira at CMI. So whoever is in charge of CMI must produce because we located him. We are also able to locate Mr. Wangoro at UPDF barracks in Kakiri. We were able to submit details, including submission of the LCR person of his area in whose presence he was picked with the five others before he returned, then um, Wangoro never returned. So Wangoro is with the UPDF in Kakiri. To put that on the record of parliament. A parliamentary record is a parliamentary record. Nobody can erase it. Even when we are long gone, the children and grandchildren of Damolira will demand for Damolira from those who are in charge of the UPDF in the Kakiri, CMI, 
and other places. So my brother, our records were never debunked. The record is there. there. So whatever the Ministry of Internal Affairs was saying then is long put at the dustbin of history. It's long obtained. We debunked it and there was no rebuttal. There was total admission. That's why we say now we need fresh investigations. Thank you. Mr. President, we are in the audience. Can I kindly ask my Shadow Minister for Finance to come and clarify on the issue that was the subject of his minority report that informs part of the controversial 50 billion men for power with your indulgence. On and one. Thank you, Mr. President. And the entire leadership. Now, the subject of 100 billion for each single MP, 100 million. Let me first remind Ugandans, sad as it is, the 3.5 trillion is going to be borrowed. So they are going to borrow 3.5 trillion to spend on things that are not so critical to the welfare of Ugandans, for which the president has talked about. And it's not going to be borrowed abroad. It's going to be borrowed internally. What it also means is that the very people who steal our money are the ones going to lend yes. us that money and earn a profit. So that's the, the, the first point we need to take from this, sad as it is. And that's the money they're going to give to ask, to whatever, to pay. So that, the president talked about 45 billion for banana peeling. But that banana initiative in Bush, in Bushen, is a permanent resident of every single supplementary that we will pass in Parliament. Every year it's there. Every year in every supplementary, you will find electromax, which they call DMD energy. Some of you may not know what DMD energy is. You will find, and we are spending, and that's the money that we tattoo a text. And the other day it was running broke. Now, let me go for the 100 million. As you may recall, after Parliament had passed the, the, the supplementary, a document was at the tailor end smuggled to the Speaker by the Minister of Finance, signed by Matia Kasaigyo. It had 78 trillion. Out of 78 trillion, it had 35 55 billion, no, it had 78 billion. It had 55.6 to be exact billion that was for classified under state house. And listen to this story. State house is the home of a president, not the office of the president. In the normal budget, it was allocated 412 billion. Out of the 412 billion, it had 88 billion for class five. Now, under three percent, they have already consumed another 100 billion under class five. But on top of that, in what we call prior, that require prior parliamentary approval, they asked for 195 billion. It is on the top of that that the 55.6 billion was allocated to the office of the president. Now, this is how it is. The office of the president, the president is the fountain of honor. His residence is the number one address in the country. It cannot be used for those purposes. It is the shame that now vote to, which vote is the house, which is only for the home of the president, is the one that where they are channeling all the dirty money. As to what we did in Parliament, we raised the red flag, even on the 77. Now, Mr. President, under State House, must, we must not. I only take it to two years. Last year, it was allocated 618 billion for State House. By the end of the year, after consuming numerous supplementaries, it will, he used 913 billion. That is an average of three billion per day to run his home. Now this year, he was allocated 418 billion 
in the normal budget, which the president has talked about. But he has consumed a hundred extra. He has, he has asked for 175 billion extra and the 50 for inverted commas for members of parliament. Now, if we are at the half year mark, this is December. The, the budget is still running up to June next year. That means by end of next of June, is likely to have consumed over a trillion shillings. And we are asking Mr. Ben, does he feed on a buffer? Does he eat a lion? Does he, what kind of meal has served in the state house that consume all those, those money that he spends anyhow? So therefore, as the president has urged, we have raised the red flag. But all these MPs of ours and the entire country are elected by the people. Along the way, we will meet them on funerals, on barrios, on parties, remind them not to take the money. Thank you. Uh, the people who would really want to have this are translated in Uganda for easy digestion. Chayanzi Zanyo Mukamafe, leader of opposition. Mathas Mpuga Nsamba, Nebi Gamba Ebilu Njibi Vyo Yogete, Nebi Gambo Ebi Zamba Na Uganda Amanyi, Ebi Bazamu Esubi, Hera Ebi Genda Maso, Ngabitu Kubiriza Okubele Wamu, Nukua Taganila Wamu, Kwa Uganda Ya Fefe Na Kujinyo Midwa Na Kujie Ya Galila Mu, Baganda Bafe, Boba De Bubaka, Okuvao Mathas Mpuga Nsamba, Elanga Ebi Gambo Ebi Yogete, So Baganda Bafe, Tue Kwa Ati Wamu, Tutelezebe Nebi Asoba, Ati Sobole Okununula. Uganda fetu jije mumikono jo yomuchamu ya janeyeri mbikanti ya zetu nunula kumbu ya lina bigende ilo abye bila nanyo bia jila kuu ukujanga haya gala okono ukutatana higuanga lia fe nukono na nsi ya fe baganda vange mikwano guangenge ya bagamba ati hagali ya wamu gigalu mainyama na fetu ya kwa atile wamu Tereze biyuna ibiasoba. Chagwa ni senta mulo batibabuwa ni His Excellence, Director of the President of Uganda. Mbaya tukule mbe demo uti wali chigena Uganda. Hila tusubi nanti. Tuli bawanguzi. Hata tuja kuba bawanguzi embanga liona. This is Uganda for Ugandans. Hila tuja kula chuneji soboka. Okula banga tereze guanga lia fe. Nukulongo sa hivyo. Omompe mbebi akoze. Okwa gala hukono na. Nukwa gala okusanya oso. Baganda wa fe. Mikuwano jafetu yu mkiri wamu, tutelize e guanga lafe. Eno Uganda, ya wana Uganda, ila wana Uganda, pepa inase, e semba yuko guanga liyawe. Tetukiliza diversion, tetukiliza mtu ya nai nai na, tukuzi sansobi tumanyenti, tutambula lugendo, hatitu inodutu ala maso. 